It's a monument church. It was envisaged by the East India Company as a monument to the heroes, to the soldiers who fell in the Afghan war. Two Afghan wars, the third one went to Canada. So that is a memorial that you've seen there. In a way, uh, complies with the, uh, what should I say, definition of any um, good church or cathedral because it has stained glass on all four sides of the, the, the building, including niches like the Lady Chapel on my left and the, the baptistry, which used to be the baptistry, which is now the vestry um, at the further end near the entrance. Um, as Kirtida mentioned, uh, the stained glass was part of the plan uh, and uh, was in fact, um, what should I say, decided at the inception level of the conservation, restoration. I tried to do both. Um, essentially, all the windows were found in a terrible state. It's important to note that the, um, the stained glass cannot be treated in isolation because it sits in a framework. So the framework can be wood, framework can be metal, it can be stone, as in the case of the two large windows, and degradation of these materials obviously hasten the, the decay of the stained glass. So our aim was first to arrest the degradation and look at conserving what was already there. Fortunately, therefore, as uh, somebody pointed out, our work was a collaborative effort with the civil contractor who did the structures into which our stained glass was situated. Um, another just important aspect is we could not find the original press glass to um, replace 700 broken glass pieces, stories in these windows. So after a lot of trial and error, um, we decided to, with a local glass company, um, we decided that we should go in for a slightly um, different method, um, which is because due to budgetary constraints, we couldn't have the same technique. It's out of production, press glass out of production. And we decided to, we arrived at a new kind of a glass with slumping and 3D etching, which comes very close to the original pressed glass. We were requested uh, by Kit Thongwala to help conserve the material elements in the church. And these included the stone elements, there were some wooden, um, the, you know, like that beautiful cover of the baptism font. Uh, we had the pulpits, uh, we had the, the, the marble, the letterings here, we had the mosaic, we had this reredos, which is a memorial uh, raised by, uh, in memory of 13 friends. Uh, then we have the, uh, uh, the, the screens that you saw, the metal screens. So uh, the task given to us was to first ensure the longevity of these elements. And after that, once that is ensured, then the, the message that these objects want to convey, and that comes under the field of restoration. So we began parallel with all of them. What was, uh, I must mention this, what was particular about this project was the synergy between the various seven to eight teams that have been in, led by, of course, the principal architect. Uh, and that with, we worked in tandem for a common cause and uh, absolutely patient with how things would overlap with each other. And I think that was why the project was also successful. To begin with, in terms of elements, I'll make it short because the others also have to speak. Uh, the first thing that was done in a way, as you say, na, kisi cheech ko saaf, andar se bhi saaf hona chahiye. So this church, while you see a physical space, which is the surfaces are clean, uh, the grime has been removed, the pollution deposits have been drawn out. I must mention that this church was, the salts from the earth had risen up along all these, this space that we are sitting in, uh, standing on, the entire walls and pillars here were completely laden with salts from the earth. And a poultice was applied on this and all the salts were drawn out over a period of two months. And the church literally has been cleansed also from the inside, I would say. 
Yeah, and after that, of course, the material aspects of treating the marble, things that were broken, were put back, the mosaic, all the elements, the tesserae that were coming off, were placed back. And cleaning doesn't mean you clean everything white. It is about arriving at a balance of tones so that your eye meets a surface where it is comfortable. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.